What's going on guys? This is Empty Box, and this is a Settle Corsa, where we're going to be driving the newly released to early access Ferrari 312T. But first of all, please allow me to put the car in gear before the lights go out. That'd be, that'd be fantastic. Anyways, Ferrari 312T, Ferrari's 1975 Formula One car. Which I'm sure for a lot of you guys just pretty much said everything that you need to know. And for you guys who didn't know that this car was coming to a set of Corsa, you probably need new underpants now. They're doing a race against the AI, 10 laps here at Imola. AI set to 100% difficulty. We will talk a little bit about the AI a little bit later on in this video, as there have been some changes. I should probably keep the car on the track first and foremost. Sounds could definitely use some improving, but I think that's pretty much a trait of a subtle course, so we'll see how that ends up playing out over time. If that's a sound engine issue, or if that's just the samples being used for the sounds, or who knows at this point. But, uh, really, <laughs> I like this car. Then again, I think pretty much everybody likes this car because I'm not sure it's possible to not like this car. Mid-70s Formula One cars. Pretty darn fun to drive. Got slick tires. Got a little bit of downforce, but not a lot. Got good power output. This car is quoted at 500 horsepower, which is more than sufficient. And only a couple of years later, ground effects would come around and, depending on who you ask, ruin everything or make it much better or whatever. Definitely made the cars a little bit less exciting to drive, though. Virtually, I can attest to that. Really, I think pretty much anyone and everyone would have to say that these are kind of, you know, cars that I don't think it's possible to not like them in a sim. It's just not possible. And they're not easy to drive. They're somewhat difficult, but they're not overly difficult. They're, they're not OMG impossible or anything like that. still get the power sliding that you get but not every single corner hopefully because going sideways is going slow something I seem to never have really 
well and truly mastered. Going to that corner way too deep. This car is definitely exciting to drive, though. Got the slick tires, got a little bit of downforce, got 500 horsepower, not a lot of weight. Just right. And those slick tires aren't slick tires of today, they're. Slick tires that enable that. You don't see that today. And it's not just because of the tires. Or, excuse me, the downforce. Also the tires. really do have to pay attention to this and be ready to correct correct the car's attitude very quickly you really can't drive this thing in a lazy fashion I can assure you one thing though when the Nürburgring, the Nordschleife is released. Oh boy, will this car see laps. <laughs> Which I'm guessing they, I believe they said sometime September we'll see how that actually happens, seeing how this game was supposed to be out fully like two years ago, but <laughs> it is what it is. When it happens, this car will be there. so fun I think I could probably take that corner in third certainly a very active car very engaging to drive in fact, I'd probably say the most engaging car here in a set of courses so far to drive. You really got to pay attention. You really got to drive it. But then again, that's what pretty much anyone and everyone expected with a mid-70s Formula 1 car. Again, it's impossible to not like these things from a driving standpoint. They're just basically everything that you want. Unless your thing is huge downforce. Super small slip angle for cars, but... Uh, more sideways, more fun. And it's even more fun when more sideways, more fun is more fast. Right? This does make me wonder, though, what will become of a Settle Corsa, because... 
yes, this car is fun to drive, but at the same time, how much time am I actually going to spend driving just a Ferrari, you know, Formula One car around by itself? It just kind of feels wrong. You know, it, it's like it, it cries out for friends. It's like, is Kuno's gonna be able to do that? I don't really quite think so. Are the modders gonna step up and do that? Who knows? It does seem like Kuno's listen to me though. Because I am racing on 100% difficulty and that is the leader right up front and I don't seem to be able to catch him. Just kind of the way I like it, kind of the way it should be. Uh, you know, I'm, even though some of you guys really think I am, for some silly reason I'm not that fast and if I'm beating up on the highest difficulty level AI, then there's probably something wrong with how fast they are, so. Good to see that, or I might just be painfully slow in this car. Probably a little bit of both. Driving this car definitely uh, makes you realize why they put a very small steering wheel in this thing. <laughs> Wait, seriously. How many of you guys laughed at how comically small looking that steering wheel is? I know I'm not the only one. Anyways. Other things in this update. There's really other things that I consider uh, particularly noteworthy. That is the Lotus Exige 240. Yes, yet another Lotus Exige. <laughs> More power, I guess. I guess, you know, if you want to think about it, Gran Turismo has the Skyline. So, of course, uh, has the Lotus Exige anyways. Which, yeah, it could be much worse, but, uh, we'll survive. I mean, how many people have actually driven that car, seeing how this car exists? <laughs> it came out at the same time. Why drive that when you can drive that? This, that's... That's the question. But there is that, as well as, perhaps most notably, AI improvements, which you haven't really seen too much of them, but they are a good bit better. They still, uh, still aren't exactly the best, but they're actually here. They're on the track, and they're not driving me insane with how stupid they are. And I don't think they've done anything quite particularly laugh-worthy in this video other than the start where they just have no speed at all. Whereas before they'd all just drive through the gravel trap thinking they have four-wheel drive or something. My Ferrari's a Jeep. Only if you drive the FF. But uh, before they would have tried that, fortunately, they don't do that now. Definitely much, much, much better. Still a long way to go, but at least this has some glimmer of hope to it. That guy in first, he is checked out, long gone. Falling into the clutches of the guy in third place. Hopefully we can hold on for a podium finish.
they still kind of do that thing though where they constantly look like they're going to try and take a look and pass you but at the same time they don't actually try to pass you which I hate when that happens because I'm the type of person who I look in my mirrors fairly frequently you know on the way setting up for the corner just to see where everybody is and I wouldn't say I drive in my mirrors or I get all that worried with it but I like to know where cars are I guess it's kind of bunch of open server online experience <laughs> you, know, you just kind of learn to check for that guy who's dive bombing from about 10 miles back and they always look like they're gonna do it but at the same time they're like oh no no I'm not gonna do it which is nice but it just doesn't necessarily convince me that the AI is going fast or it's you know, really trying hard or seems realistic when it can run a totally goofy line and still somehow go just as fast as I am trying my hardest then again I'm not the fastest driver out there so maybe that's why last lap let's make it a good one really hope someone can improve the sounds That'd be very nice welcome change. No! 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 Dang it! I screwed up. Yep. But the cockpit looks nice. You know, that's something that I'm constantly always going on and on about. And I'm sure some people find it annoying that it's something that I always end up talking about. But the gauges are nice and readable. And it just feels right. Feels like it should be in a 1970s car, 1970s F1 car, because, well, it's what was in a 1970s F1 car rather than some sort of weird, goofy, kind of looks like it, but kind of doesn't type thing going on, like uh, a certain other sim has going for it, which is something I've never been a fan of. So we managed to bring it home sixth after spinning out from second on the last one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that. John Odo. Very popular name, it seems. So, yes, I am driving a yellow Ferrari because that's the color that a Ferrari should be, if you ask me. Because it looked better in yellow than red. Because everybody's driving red Ferraris probably for a reason but yeah hope you guys enjoyed I right, bye